Hi guys, welcome back to Tatty XO. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I haven't done quite a huge haul video in a while, so I thought whilst I at first have an offer of 50% off everything, why not? So I treated myself to a few bits and bobs and I want to show you what I bought. So I'll show you each item and I'm also going to try it on as well so you can see exactly what it looks like. Let me know if you guys like any of these items, if you've bought any of them, if this video made you want to buy any of them. I love hearing from you, as you know. So make sure you get in touch either um, in the comment section below, on my blog, on any of my social accounts. I love hearing from you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first item is actually an accessory rather than a piece of clothing. And it's this really gorgeous sort of golden loop chain belt, which I thought would just be really nice to wear with some jeans or some high-waisted trousers. It just gives it that extra little bit of detail. Um, and I believe I paid six pounds for this. And I really like the fact that it's got a hook connector on the end, which looks like this. And then you've got a whole range of loops to actually connect it to. So it doesn't matter what size you are, you can um, match and adjust this to however wide your hips are. So it's great. Um, so there's no need to be looking for different size chains. Um, this is a one size and it's just really easy to use and wear. Okay, so this is a chain belt. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I feel like these type of high-waisted trousers go really well um, with this. It just adds a little bit of extra detail. So this is what it looks like. It's got that little string hanging down, which I think looks nice. And I'm just a huge fan of all of these little loops. I think they look really, really, really nice. And I love um, adding gold accessories to an outfit. So, as you know, red is my favourite colour, um, so I thought I'd get myself some smart uh, red trousers, which look like these. Now, I'm not sure if they will fit me full length or crop, so I will find out very soon when I try these on. Um, but the colour is really lovely, I got mine in a size 6 and I believe they were £19. I will put the links to every product um, in, the, in the section below. So if you want to go and have a look and visit and see if they've got your size, then you've got the links ready there for you. So that would be really nice to wear with like a nice white blouse or something like that, some cute black heels, a nice black clutch. Um, you can really just make it your own. And if you're feeling brave, you can also wear it with some red lipstick as well. So I did actually get myself a white bodysuit, uh, which is a white plunge um, style bodysuit. It's got beautiful long sleeves. It's got some sort of lines um, with some thinner material, so it's almost like you can see your skin through the material. Um, and I did actually get this in a size 6. I really like getting bodysuits and things in the smaller size um, on ISO at first, which is a 6, just because I like the more skin tight um, looking items rather than ones that are a little bit more baggy. So I'm really looking forward to wearing that. Again, you could wear it with so many different things. You could wear it with trousers, with jeans, with pretty much whatever you like. It's white goes with anything really. So this is the white plunge bodysuit. It does feel really, really nice. It has a really nice open um, front uh, which shows off your cleavage so I'd stick to wearing that in the evenings um, as I'm not one to get my cleavage out in the daytime. Um, these are the red trousers. Obviously they are a little bit long on me because I am only 5 foot 3 but they do feel really really nice and soft and really comfortable to wear actually and I really like that colour and I feel like I'd probably add um, like a belt just to mix it up, maybe like a black and gold belt around my waist to add a little bit of extra detail. I 
I thought I'd get myself a couple of skirts so I did get myself this really cute little ruffle dog tooth skirt here I really love the little frill at the bottom um, it's got a really nice ruche detail as well I got this in a size 6 as well because I don't have the biggest butt so I really want my skirts and shorts and trousers and things to try and hug and create a bit more of a curve um, than if I bought a bigger size and it looked a little bit baggy. That skirt you could wear with loads of different things. You could wear it with a white bodysuit, um, a white boob tube, you could mix it up with maybe some bright coloured heels. It's just really, really adaptable and I feel like these types of skirts, certainly with all the frills and stuff, are definitely making a comeback. So if you're a fan of skirts, go and check out Eyesword's collection because it's got loads of styles. So this is a really cute frilly dog tooth skirt. Um, I feel like it definitely hugs your skin really nice and tight, which I really like. It just feels so incredibly comfortable and I'm a huge fan of these black and white dog tooth patterns. I feel like they're really, really nice and trendy. Um, and I also really like them in trousers as well. I love the elasticated waist. Um, so again, it will just adapt to your body. Um, it doesn't feel tight on me at all. Um, and I feel like it's just a really cute, even like a date night outfit as well. Um, if, I didn't, if I wanted to wear this skirt in the daytime, I would probably just put on a top with less cleavage, probably stick to white again, and just a really nice black handbag. So I did get myself a black bodysuit, as you guessed, in a size 6. And it's basically one that sort of hangs off the shoulders. It's like a cold shoulder um, bodysuit, if you can see. So it's got long sleeves. It's got this really nice elasticated um, bit on the front. And I love that because we're all different sizes. So it just stretches and adapts to your body. Um, and it's just got um, a nice ruched bottom. There's no buttons there. You just slip it on and then you can wear that with exactly what you want. And I'm a huge fan, if you've got quite a low neckline of maybe wearing like a choker to break it up a little bit, or a necklace, just add a little bit of detail um, and accessories um, to mix up the outfit. And I feel like the crossover detail of this jumpsuit uh, would really lend it well to maybe wearing a belt, just to add, you know, a little bit of curvature, create that nice hourglass shape, I just mix up the outfit and make it look a little bit more trendy and stylish. I feel like as soon as you add a belt to an outfit, it just takes it from like an 8 to a 10. I really love belts. Um, I thought I'd try something a bit different. This is like a long skirt, a long frill skirt, which has got a really nice sort of snake print pattern on it. Um, I did get this in a size 6, I think it, I pretty much got a size 6 in everything and I believe this was about £15 as well, like I said I'll put the links below and you know that is just looks so pretty and girly, if you're a fan of like flowy girly and comfortable things then this would be really perfect for you. They have another two different styles in it as well, one was an orange leopard print and another one was like this grey bright coloured skirt. Um, I'm quite a huge fan of my nudes and beiges, so that's why I picked this gorgeous snake print one, and I do love snakes as well. This is a really gorgeous, beautiful, long snake print skirt. I really like the frills, it almost reminds me of um, one of my old school skirts. It honestly feels like I'm wearing nothing, it's really nice and girly. Um, again, you can even wear this on a date night as well. I'm just wearing it with the same bodysuit from before and I would probably, um, if I want to mix up the outfit and add some accessories, wear just like a plain black belt um, just for a bit of extra detail. What do you guys think? I did actually get another skirt as well. This time it's like a brown polka dot colour um, and it reminded me a bit of the skirt um, that Julia Roberts wore in Pretty Woman. 
They did actually have an orange skirt, but they didn't have my size, so I ended up getting this brown one um, in a size 6. And again, it's just got those beautiful little frills at the bottom, it's just really nice and girly. It's also got a zip going down the side as well. And again, I thought that that's just really nice and cute for spring. Um, you could wear your hair and a hair up, you could add like a, a beige bodysuit or a black bodysuit. I love bodysuits, as you know. Um, these types of skirts just look really, really lovely and I'd probably wear that with some nice nude makeup and uh, maybe like a brown smoky eye just for a bit of effect. What do you guys think of this? Would you wear something like that? Hi guys, this is um, the black cold shoulder bodysuit. I feel like it's really, really nice. Um, and again, I'm wearing that with the really cute sort of brown ruffle skirt. It just, it feels lovely actually. I feel like again, this would be a really nice sort of date night outfit. I wouldn't actually usually go for something like this brown, but I'm really glad that I did because I just feel like it looks really nice and it just feels really nice. I love the little ruffles and I'm a huge fan of a cold shoulder bodysuit as well. What do you guys think of this? The next item is another accessory. I actually treated myself to this really cute grey croc print bag, um, which I thought would just be really nice. It's got a shoulder strap as well. It's got a little um, loop on the top. Um, it's a unique circular shape. I don't actually have any bags like this. And if I just open it up, still got the padding inside, but it can fit a, quite a few uh, things inside, which is really good. I will tell you how much this cost if you bear with me for one second. So, the handbag cost me £14, which is not a lot at all. Um, and Grey goes with loads of stuff as well. So, um, go and have a look at what different bags and belts and things they've got because um, they've actually got loads of more styles added to the collection. So, I also got myself some sort of black wet looking um, skinny jeans. These are in a size 6. I'm not sure how it's going to fit on my short legs um, but we'll, we'll see when I try them on. I feel like these just go with so many different things as well. Um, if you don't like this style, they've also got some vinyl looking ones, some really wet sort of uh, latex um, looking trousers as well. Um, just go and have a look. I actually think they've got some red um, sort of leather trousers as well that look really really nice, very Kyoto ugly-esque. Um, I'm looking forward to wearing these. I feel like the wet look would just look really really nice and effective and you just cannot go wrong with a pair of skinny jeans. I, um, I know we're going into spring but I really did need to get like a long sleeve turtleneck jumper. So I've got it in this really nice little cream colour and Again, that is in a size 6. You can wear that with so many different things, whether you're wearing it with a pinafore dress, on its own, with some like trousers, just anything you want basically. And because I hate having a cold neck, turtlenecks are just my go-to. I really, really love them. Um, and I will probably still be wearing that until it's like actually summer because I am always cold. So even though the sun may be shining, sometimes I feel like I might need to stick to wear in my winter clothes until it's warm enough. Is anyone else like that? I feel like I'm the annoying person that is always cold and all my friends are like, oh, it's so lovely and I'm just there in my scarf and my 10 layers. <laughs> so I did see um, that everything was 50% off and I thought I'm gonna try another pair of boots. So I picked up these sort of really shiny looking black boots they've got a really nice sort of rectangular shaped heel if you can see that um i'm not sure how they will look on my skinny ankles but i'm going to give it a go i'm just black goes with everything i wear ankle boots all the time um my current ankle boots are in like a, a black suede so i thought i'd give um, the patent leather look um a try what do you think of these guys i got these in a size four i am a three and a half 
um, but when I get boots sometimes I wear them with quite thick socks so I'm going to stick to the four rather than trying a size three and it potentially being too tight so let's have a look at those. So this is the cream turtleneck jumper. It just feels lovely and warm, nice and fitted. Um, and I feel like cream, it's just amazing. You can wear it with so many different things. I'm wearing that with, again, the black skinny jeans and the ankle boots. And I've also just um, picked up the bag so that you can see what it looks like. What do you guys think of this little outfit? So I got myself this really cute um, baby pink and black um, sort of leopard print top. It ties at the front and it's got um, some really nice long sleeves with a nice little frill detail at the bottom as you know I love that. Um, and I feel like that would just be beautiful with some jeans, um, a nice big bag, some nice wedges maybe if you're wearing it in the springtime and it's not too cold. Um, that would just look really really lovely. I feel like the touch of pink just adds that little bit of colour and I'd probably wear this with some black skinny jeans or something like that just so that the black will really tie in with the black of those spots there. Um, go and have a look because there are loads of different similar um, patterns and styles on I saw it first. If you don't like leopard print go and have a look at the other different designs as well. Hi guys, so I put on the wet sort of leather look skinny jeans. They actually fit my legs which is amazing. I've wanted a pair of jeans like this uh, for ages. Um, as you can see with the baby pink sort of blouse tie front top, it is very open. So I would actually probably switch my bra for like a bralette which would make it look like it's a bit more part of the top um, rather than just have my normal bra like it is now just sticking out a little bit. Um, I'm a huge fan of the frills on the sleeves and I feel like the pattern is just really, really stunning and striking. I've been seeing the return of the silk blouse, so I had to buy one. I got mine in a size 6, as you guessed, in this beautiful sort of blush pink champagne colour. It feels really, really soft and smooth which I love because it means it's really, really comfortable. It's got these nice long sleeves, but you can mix it up. You can roll your sleeves up, add a little bit of flair. You can leave a few buttons um, open as well if you want to wear it in the evening. It will just go with so many different things. It can go with black or white, smart trousers. You can add a blazer. Like You could wear it for work, going out to drinks. It's just so versatile. They actually have loads of other colours as well. I saw this gorgeous um, sort of like a greeny blue colour which just looked really really nice. Unfortunately they didn't have my size but I really really liked this colour as well. And this is the really beautiful sort of satin shirt. I've just rolled up the sleeves to keep it really nice and chill. I've just tucked it into these black skinny jeans but again like I said I'd love to wear that with some wide leg either black or white trousers maybe even a blazer um, to mix it up a little bit. It feels absolutely lovely and I'm definitely glad I got a size 6 rather than a size 8 because I like it to be a little bit more fitted and tighter looking, a little bit more tailored. What do you guys think? I thought because it's spring and all the colours are coming back, why not try a cute hot pink um, one-sided uh, jumper? They didn't have a size 6, so I did have to get a size um, 8 in this, but how cute is that colour? Again, I'd wear that with some like, ankle boots and black skinny jeans, add a belt, it just looks really, really nice. You can even maybe wear that um, in the evenings if you want to wear it with a pencil skirt as well. The material feels warm, um, which is always good, and even wearing that with a black leather jacket would just look really, really nice. This is a hot pink top. Um, as I said, I couldn't get it in a size 6, I had to get it in a size 8, but it doesn't feel or look overly baggy at all, it actually feels really nice. And I just love that bright, eye-catching colour. Um, again, I'm wearing that with the um, skinny, wet-look jeans, and I've actually put on, so that you can see, 
the um, black patent ankle boots. What do you guys think of those? They don't actually feel too big um, on my skinny ankles, but I would love to hear your opinion. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Did you guys enjoy that? Was it insightful? Would you buy any of the items that I bought? Has it persuaded you to go and visit the I Saw It First website? Let me know. As I said, I love hearing from you. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. It really means the world. And I will be releasing some more videos very soon. Thank you guys and enjoy the rest of your day.